Most soybeans in Ontario are grown using either reduced or no-till, so almost all farmers are using a burn-down herbicide in their weed management program in soybeans. I think it's really important to start clean and stay clean during that critical period of weed control for three reasons. First of all, I think you protect the full yield potential of the crop. Secondly, you open the post-emergence application window. And third, you reduce the selection intensity for herbicide-resistant weeds. This year we used Optil pre-emerge as a burn down in my Roundup Ready soybean crop. We did notice that it was a lot faster burn down. It was quicker to kill the weeds than it was with the straight glyphosate. The quick burn down was important because we were very pushed for time this spring. It made me feel better when we got to the field two days after we sprayed it to plant uh, that some of those weeds were already starting to change color. So they were starting to die so that the soybeans came up in an environment that was weed free. I think it's very important to have a top up with glyphosate. It's going to help us continue to use glyphosate into the future. I think if we uh, don't pay attention to resistance management that at some point we're not going to be able to use glyphosate. I would certainly use Optil again, especially in certain fields that have higher weed pressures, grasses particularly, uh, that would give me a longer residual time before I had to go back in for my first in-crop spray. I think it's really valuable to add a tank mix partner to your glyphosate burn down so that you get that uh, residual weed control early in the development of the crop so weeds are not there competing with the crop during that early period of crop development. I did an optil plot for BASF. The optil plot had a great burn down, especially on dandelion, which is hard to kill. Very efficient, fast, complete burn down compared to glyphosate check. Uh, the residual lasted much longer. Getting those hard to kill weeds early is quite important. With the great residual control, I'm convinced that it led to a three bushel to an acre increase in yield on the optil side. And even post-harvest, the optil check is still cleaner than the glyphosate side. I would use it again, I'd recommend it. As a custom applicator, I see a lot of fields, a lot of different situations, and there's a lot of places where it, it should be used. This year we did an Optil trial, 20 acre research plot against 20 acres of Guardian. Really impressed with how fast the weeds burn down and burn down completely. Even for larger dandelions, it was quick and effective, very complete burn down. They came back in the Guardian side, uh, not so much on the Optil side, very effective kill. The speed that the weeds went down makes me think that I could get in there that much faster for planting. So as a no-till farmer, uh, no-tilling every crop we have, rotating our chemistries, rotating our herbicides, and also considering herbicide resistance management is important to us. Having seen what Optil did in the soybeans this year, I would definitely consider having that on the rotation again next year. We're asked if we would uh, be involved in an optil trial on, and we had a 40 acre field that had a bad infestation of dandelions so we used two liters of glyphosate along with the optil and on the other side we used just two liters of glyphosate straight and on the optil side the dandelions within two to three days were burnt off turning brown, turning black. But on the other side, they kept on growing. They didn't back off for, for near two weeks. With the residual, we had good control later on within that four to six weeks range. We had some vets in the field, which is quite hard to kill, and it took care of that nicely. When we used the Optil, and the field was nice and clean, we do our own combining, and it's always a treat to combine a clean field. You have a clean sample in the bin, and the Optil was the biggest part of it taking care of that. On the optil side, uh, when we were done combining, we ended up with a seven bushel per acre increase. I would recommend optil to anybody in my area and we will definitely use it again.